Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another web assigned problem. This time it's a rotational dynamics problem that says find the net torque on the wheel in the figure below about the axle through O perpendicular to the page taking A equals 7 centimeters and B equal 19 centimeters. Now to do this we must observe some things that will help us to, to solve this problem that says we're going to work with this with the sum of the torques and then that the torque is equal to the force times the distance times sine of the angle now we must analyze the figure here the drawing that i've made and find out that all the forces are met, are done perpendicular so the angle that we're going to take it's going to be 90 degrees what this what this means is that here it's an angle of 90 degrees, here as well, and if the drawing was perfect, well, there was going to be a 90 degree angle, let's say. So, as you could see it in the inland day, so don't worry. Now, then, we're going to put this as the sine of 90 degrees, which, which is just a 1. So we're not, we're not going to worry about the angle. So then we have one, two, and three forces. We're going to name them. So this is going to be force one. This will be force two. And this is force three. Each of them have a distance which they are applied, in which they are applied. So for instance, the A, the, the force one, distance A. So its distance is nine, I'm sorry, is seven centimeters. So this is 0 0.07 meters. Then the force two is applied in, in the distance B, at the distance B. So it is 19 centimeters, which is 0 0.19 meters. And the same thing happens on the force three, 0 0.19 meters. Now, I'm gonna work with my formula, with my sum of the torques now, and it's gonna be force one, and this force goes counterclockwise, so its sign is positive, remember? Now, force two and force three are going clockwise. This, this means their sign will be negative. So it is minus F2 and minus F3. Now, if we get the, our formulas in here, oh, I, I wrote F, which is it's just wrong. It's just T. Don't worry about it. We'll get it fixed. So then we could just plug in our values here. Quite simple. And so we get that these are vectors, just an extra detail, that the T1 is this 12 times 0 0.07. So it would be 12 times 0 0.07. Now T2 right here minus 10 newtons of force times 0 0.19 meters. I'm going to skip the units, so I won't write much in here on the whiteboard, so don't worry. Torque, it's going to be newton meters. And so, then I got negative in here, T3, which is 9 newtons times 0 0.19 meters. Now, the, to finding the, the net torque would be just solving this operation, which I will plug in my values into the calculator. So 12 times 0 0.07 minus 10 times 0 0.19 minus 9 times 0 0.19, which gives me negative 2.77 Newton meters. Now, the negative sign means that in the end, if we apply all these forces simultaneously, we're gonna get a rotation that goes this way that goes counterclockwise 
this negative sign indicates that. So this is another WebAssign problem, rotational dynamics WebAssign problem with Bob, el profesor.